You're watching News 5 tonight. Singapore's law minister has issued a clarification of the handling of a curry dispute which has sparked debate online. The case was handled by the Community Mediation Centre and Mr K. Shanmugam says parties involved in mediation are neither given a recommendation nor forced into a settlement. A dispute between neighbours over curry has cooked up a fiery storm on the internet. Netizens were quick to defend the delicious lifestyle, even starting an island-wide movement. Today I'm gonna feast on this curry. And this song has become an anthem for the dispute. The case in question happened some six to seven years ago involving a PRC family who sought mediation because they could not stand the smell of curry coming from the home of their Indian neighbours. According to a media report, the mediator got the Indian family to agree to only cook curry when their Chinese neighbours are not at home. The law minister has since clarified that the solution was agreed upon by the two parties and was not imposed by the mediator. The parties, the neighbours in this case, are completely free to come for mediation. They are not forced to come, nor are they under any sort of compulsion to come. And throughout the process when the mediation takes place, either party or both can walk off. There was no agreement as such that was signed or settled at the mediation. What happened, as told to us by the mediator, is that this particular solution was discussed by the two families amongst themselves. Mr. Shamugam also urged Singaporeans to see things in perspective. While we must affirm our Singaporean identity and must protect it, and it's good to see so many people coming forward to protect it, at the same time, Let's not turn this into a uh, xenophobic attack on foreigners in general. He said the mediation centre handles about 300 disputes between neighbours each year, the bulk of which are between Singaporeans. In world news.